Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for October 17th, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 14. And if you add the one and the four together, you get the number five. The number four opens the doors to healing and teaching. It asks us to allow ourselves to be drawn into the physical world. There will be moments when you want to cut loose and be a bit wild and loud. It is where we want to relish the natural world, sit by a fire, and tell stories or talk to each other. The natural world calls to us. It shows us how to come back to ourselves and that essential connection that connects us to this world and all life. It is about embracing the sensuousness of life and how to enjoy the things life offers, such as foods and those things that allow for experiencing pleasures in this world. But this is a number that reminds us that of that all of us are survivors and that we have learned coping mechanisms in this world when we have been threatened. In the positive, this number supports us in being strong and capable. In the negative, this number can make us more stubborn, rigid, and unbending. So remind yourself that picking fights in order to be right is not going to help your position in the long run. Today, Relish in the moment and take pride in being nurturing and consistent. Know that you understand, know that if you understand the physical world and learn to work with the world and nature, then you do make a difference. And we need as many doing that as possible. The astrology today. The moon is opening to the imagination uh, um, as it, it opening us to imagination as it continues in Pisces. Emotions continue to be heightened and straining our reserves in ways that are not pleasant. Go slow, breathe, and know that we are being stretched out of our comfort zones in ways that can be uncomfortable. The sun and Pluto square off today. While we had a glimmer of positive energy yesterday, this square will bring some of those things we would prefer to remain buried to the surface. Trusting the intentions of others is not in the mix. It seems that everyone is slanted in ways that put our teeth on edge and strain our compassionate listening. Acceptance is less pleasant and will seem more forced. And a few rolls of the eyes are going to be happening. Just make sure your back is to others when you do it. The more we present resistance, the more insistent others are going to become and it makes it difficult to disengage from the conversation or situation. Power is all about knowing yourself first Power without that integrated first step moves into the domains of manipulation. And manipulation is an indicator that someone is deeply attached to a position and will do whatever it takes to hang on to their beliefs. Manipulation is a hidden form of extreme prejudice. Know that it may feel as if the world is out to get you in various ways. Don't let those suspicious thoughts happen to destabilize your personal, mental, and self mental energy and self-control. Mercury and Jupiter are still in the sky and tomorrow they move direct, so hesitate in making decisions today. We may not see everything and regret choices made later. <coughs> okay, my quote for today. What happens when we lose sight of our impact on the greater good? We then justify behaviors and choices because we believe we should. I want a world that values authenticity and truth, not a world that only sees the value of youth. We value the beauty of flowering purity. I also know the wisdom of aging maturity. In life, we need both to be held high. It is life that teaches us to find the wisdom we may deny. And my blog for today. Take a moment to thank those that came before you. Feel into the hearts and souls of those hardy individuals that took risks and made us into who we are today. Within those places and spaces of our deepest psyche and our DNA are tendencies and patterns that have been passed down and have the ability to activate us and motivate us in ways that support the continued learning that allows us to navigate this complicated world. We are in the season of remembering the dead and what they managed to learn and pass down to us through their caring and sharing, but also through their active choices and thought processes that allow them to come to certain conclusions and decisions. I believe that our DNA learns and remembers. It is handed down as an active element in our genetic inheritance. It colors our temperament and shapes our personality, interests and ways of seeing and being in the world. It has always been clear to me that how we notice and experience our world is vastly different from one person to another. And that is why the brain of a computer programmer is so uniquely arranged. They notice tiny bits and pieces that are infinitely and are infinitely curious as to what they mean and how they interact. Healers' brains 
are organized around the fascinating techniques of things that heal the body, mind, and spirit. They have a talent to notice symptoms and how they interconnect, thus causing disease. And artists notice the shading and energy and light and movement as it creates sounds and patterns. And that allows them to see things very differently than we would interpret in the natural world. They allow humanity to think in more abstract ways that allows for the expression of dreams and makes invention possible. We all have a unique way in which we see the world, and those ways tell a lot about the interests of our ancestors and perhaps why we chose to be a part of certain family lineages. Today, I send out a message of gratitude to those who have made me into who I am. I am grateful for having their, les their lenses to help me move through this world and see things the way I do. I believe that this expression in this life is broadening my understanding of life and energy. I believe that those ancestors all chose us also chose us to be part of their continued journey into the uncharted domains that this genetic pattern intends to quest to find more understanding, truth, and wisdom in this physical world. Thanks everyone. Have a great weekend.